Welcome back to my garage. Last time in the SPX series, we assembled the engine. Today, we mount the power spark ignition and time it, and we mount the variator. First up is mounting the sensor. It sits like this, sensing outwards, and the flywheel is mounted like this. As the power spark needs to sense the magnet 65 degrees before top dead center, I would like to set the crankshaft at 65 degrees before top dead center, then set the magnet so that the sensor is sensing it, and tighten it down. For this purpose, I'm using my homemade in cylinder caliper thing. It's just a normal caliper. I've cut off the jaws that do not have it hitting the front wheel of the SPX if I do this on the bike. It's welded to a chopped off spark plug and I can thread this into the plug hole, calculate how many millimeters the degrees I'm after transfer to and uh, set my piston at the correct location. Sixty five degrees before top dead center is approximately thirteen point four millimeters. I will have to find top dead center and see what kind of an offset my tool is creating. Then add that to this number. And that is the number I will have to read on my caliper thing for it to be 65 degrees. So top dead center is at 50.4 millimeters. 50.4 13.4 plus 50.4 is 63.8 millimeters so in this case 65 degrees before top dead center is 63.8 millimeters on my calipers and i'll bring the crank up to where it hits the calipers slowly and carefully to not shift it there and that is where the sensor should sense the magnet Now the power spark is in sensing mode and now as I move the magnet close to the sensor we should see some lines showing up here. Now let's see how I did. I'll turn the flywheel slowly until the magnet is sensed and we'll see what my calipers read. You probably can't read that, but they're actually reading spot on 63.8 millimeters. Perfect. On to the variator. Thanks again to Hollandaren for making the nut and the bushing to make this possible. 
mounting a Piaggio scooter radiator on an SPX crank, as the radiator assembly is held on by clamping force from the nut alone, I use copious amount of Loctite, even though it shouldn't really be needed. If you do the calculations, which I've done, of uh, the clamping force from the nut and the force applied with the belt riding at the outer edge of the pulley, it is far away from the force needed to twist this sheave on the axle with the force from the nut. Should be, in theory. I'll mount the engine in the frame and next time hopefully we'll start it and do a dyno session. Thanks for watching.